Hello, folks. Um, VHS gods. Write this address and expect a long wait. But eventually, this guy will write to you. His, his zine is awesome. Uh, is it backwards? I'll put it in the description below. Uh, I got one thing that I'm really proud of. I finally got Morbid Angel Alters of Madness on, on disc. Drink to that. A lot of people say it's the best death metal album of all time. I sure. I um. I would say there, there's even a lot of uh, thrash in it. And I'll drink to that. Okay, now to the review. Uh, I'm gonna review Navy Seals. Starring Charlie Sheen and Michael Bean. They're America's secret weapon against terrorism. Uh, this came out in 1990. There's a, a sticker. Orion Home Video. Running time 113 minutes. Wow. I didn't, I didn't know it was that long. Um, I just always avoided this. I don't know why. I mean, I love Commando and Rambo. But this just didn't seem like that kind, like it was going to be like that. And it, it wasn't. But I got it for 50 cents from Nine Lives Video. And, um... I, if you see it for 50 cents, even like two bucks, I would get it. Because what I didn't know is that it also has Bill Paxton in it. And Rick Rossovich is in here too. Rick Rossovich, he's the guy uh, in Terminator. He's he's um, uh, the um, the room the roommate's boyfriend, the one in the bed where Terminator comes in and he's whoa, and he, Terminator beats him to death. <clears throat> Sarah Connor's roommate. I couldn't remember Sarah Connor. He's in this too. Bill Paxton, like I said, Charlie Sheen and Michael Bean all together in a movie. Uh, that's reason enough to get it right there. Uh, also, it was directed by Louis Teague, uh, who directed Cujo and Cat's Eye. It's weird that uh, he went from those to this. Uh, Cujo's, Cujo's pretty good. Cat's eyes okay, but this looks way better than those movies. Like, <coughs> I mean, he, I guess he became a better filmmaker by this time, and I'm just surprised that he went for like a straight up uh, action movie like this. But uh, Charlie Sheen is good. Michael Bean, oh, I love Michael Bean. really didn't make that many movies <laughs> like he was in like TV from between Terminator and Aliens he just like did TV stuff and then like between this and The Rock I think he just more TV like real small parts I don't, I don't know he was awesome <laughs> and he was really good in this uh, so was Charlie Bill Paxton could have been in more. He had a cool mustache. He he plays a character. He's a sniper, and they call him God. Uh, I think it was kind of light on the action part. Could have had more. There's like there is like a lull in the middle. It's got a couple good, okay kills. Um, uh, it looks good. Like at the end when they when they go to Beirut, like the city's all bombed out and destroyed and. Depleted. And that looks pretty cool. It's like post-apocalyptic almost. I was like, where are they? Um, but yes, if you haven't seen it, uh, it um, Thrift Theater, 
uh, man, this movie needed Kiefer Sutherland in it. He would have, that would have just like solidified it. I'm, I'm probably gonna pass this one on. Um, but I am glad I saw it. It has Bill Paxton, Michael Bean, Trishin, Rick Rossovich. Uh, that's like I said, that's reason enough to see it. Don't expect, you know, like Commando or Rambo though. It's like a, like a step below those. And um, that's about it. Uh, that's Navy Seals. Check it out.